um, due to my situation, uh, I have uh, DOCP and uh, emphysema. Uh, I should be very careful and watch myself every single day because within two years I uh, may catch it and for me it would be disastrous. I'm not very happy. Well, if you were going to try to get rid of this uh, bug without the antibiotics, what would you do? I'm doing Munich to get rid of it. I test for susceptibility in my body and I will use it every single day, more, more times a day. And how's that going? I keep doing it, but I keep uh, I keep finding it in my uh, in my body. Not every time I have to say, but uh, up to now it hasn't uh, disappeared. Greg, please lower your camera. I wonder if I can focus this to get it closer, because I don't want to keep trying to get closer to my desk. That'd be good. I think I'll read the booklet now. <laughs> good idea. Well, you look okay now. Yeah, it's so just... So I'll tell uh, you what. Let's not do anything other than the meeting during the meeting. And so, this is meeting. I'm meeting my... That's crew. fine. It's fine to eat. But no booklet reading, tweeting. Okay, Barb, can you restrain yourself okay. from going on any other websites? Yeah. You have, do you have your telephone off? Yeah, I think so. All right, somewhere. Would you check that your telephone is off? Okay. Or you just check it so that you can't receive calls? Mine is off. Mine is off, too. I can't seem to get Bootsy on here. Hmm. It's a problem. Trying to... She's green, and I call her... Yeah, I know. It's, I can see that she... She says she's on. but it's not ringing. So Ross, if you were going to try to rid yourself of the tuberculosis without the antibiotics, how would you do it? I would remove it using uh, units and uh, testing on the hub. Now, tubercul tuberculosis is a bacteria, yes? Yes. Okay. Practically, in me, it's dormant. It's not active. Test this question. It's Are bacteria okay. first dimensional? Is a bacteria first dimensional? I don't know. Is it sec second dimensional? Is it second dimensional? No. 
Barb? Yes. Greg? Test it. Is bacteria. I, 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 got, I, got, I, got, I got first dimensional. Greg, what do you get? I'm sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> um, I got a first dimensional. That's funny because Franny got second. Uh -huh. Years ago when we were testing life forms, what we were getting was that life forms <clears throat> that are like below the animal level, below the cellular level, are uh, second dimensional, I mean are, are first dimensional. And ones that are above are second dimensional. You guys with me on this? Yeah. And uh, therefore, like the second dimension sort of like starts with no. microbes <laughs> like uh, bacteria. Yes, hello, Nell. Hi, Nell. Good to see Hi, you. Hi, Nell. Hi, Good to see you. You're all there. So mm -hmm. I would say offhand, though it's it's funny because everybody except Franny and I got that it was first dimensional. Bar Barb and Greg both got that it was first dimensional. And if you're wrong and you're trying to kill it like it's a first dimensional entity, um, you're not going to get very far. Oh my god, Nell's got her camera on. Yeah! I'm full of you. Oh, you have Obama's. Ha ha! It's good to see you, Nell. Still trying, still trying to get Jen. I'm going to try Jen on her phone. Mm-hmm. Well, she was on earlier, wasn't she? She's online now. I never saw her. It says she's online. It says it's online, but of course. Jen? Hello, Jen, are you there? We're calling you from the meeting. Okay, Greg, Hello. Oh, is somebody typing? Greg, are you typing? Uh, not now. I was for a second there, yes. Okay. I'm going to ask again, can you yes. refrain from all other activities during the meeting? Absolutely. Jen, are you there? Hello? Jen? She's off the screen now, so I guess it hung up. No, not off my screen. She's on my... Oh, wait a minute. Is that her phone ringing? Really? God, I don't know what's going on. It says she's online. On Skype. Jen? Hello? Now you've got the beep, so you're getting a message. Jen, it's us calling you. Oh boy. Oh well. Okay. So there's nobody there. Maybe she does not allow the computer.
Bayard, yes. this thing about first dimensional, second dimensional, is somewhere on the website. Because Franny and I, one time we were working together and uh, on, on impairment and disabilities, I believe. No, no the reciprocal, or I don't know, I haven't been able to find them on the site or my notes yet. Okay. I found them. Barb found them? Reciprocal. It was there. They were there, yeah. Well, it gives you, it gives you the, uh, but it doesn't give you which ones you clear as if it were on a different, it doesn't give you the reciprocal. Well, we couldn't hear all that because your mic wasn't on. We heard it through buyers, though. And that's where the feedback is, by the way, between you two. Well, I've been on mute the whole time. Listen, the point okay. is, Ross. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me, t I want you to test this question. Okay. Because, you know, we, we kill viruses, right? Yes. Now test, am I able to kill an insect the way I kill a virus? Am I able to kill insects the way I kill virus? No. Okay. Now... Can I kill an amoeba the way I kill a virus? Can I kill amoeba the way I kill a virus? No. Okay. <clears throat> because amoebas are, they're like little animals. They're like insects. Single cell organisms. Yeah, they're single cells. They are not like viruses at all. No, they are, they're organisms. Yeah. That are... Yeah, that stand so on their that, own. So that, virus that, so if you're, see, if you if tuberculosis is like an amoeba, and you can't kill an amoeba, then you can't kill a tuberculosis bacteria either. Get it? Yeah. So why don't we just proceed on the assumption, since you just tested that you can't kill an amoeba, and I would tend to agree with you there, how would you kill tuberculosis? How would you get rid of it? Like they're talking about taking antibiotics for six months, very strong antibiotics, yeah. which is one way of doing it, and uh, probably the antibiotics would damage you also, yes? If you think the test what would, would... Would the antibiotics... Everybody test for her, with her. Would the antibiotics damage me if I take them? Barb, what do you get? Um, I got no. Greg, what do you get? I got yes. Uh, Mel, what'd you get? Mel, can you hear me? Were you following me? You got, got no. Not got no. Franny, what you? I got, I got no. Ross, what you? I got no. I got no. And I have tested previously, um, days ago, and I tested that uh, um, I am strong enough to take it because this woman doctor told me that uh, uh, you can get nausea and side effects like that, and I said, hell, yeah, but what if I get that? You stop immediately. Okay, but then what do I do? So she said, if you get nausea, stop immediately. Hmm. Well, test this question. Can I cure the nausea and the other side effects that other people get? I get the answer. Okay. Well, um... In that case, uh, you might be okay um, with using that method. Because the only other way that I know to deal with something like amoebic dysentery or t any, any bacterially-based thing 
is either it's it's a combination of some kind of fasting and taking a lot of vitamin C. Mm. And I once cured an infection in my elbow that made my, my elbow got very swollen. And I, I cured it in 18 hours, but, and I was removing the bacteria also from all my bodies. And I, uh, so, so uh, that was, that was my, uh, When's the last time you have an antibiotic, uh, Ross? Excuse me? When's the last time you had an antibiotic? This place, I, I'm looking because she told me. Okay, the name, the treatment is uh, uh, Nicolzid. For six months, and vitamin B6. So they are going to give me vitamin as well, at least. Mm -hmm. So have you taken a lot of antibiotics in your lifetime? Recently, you know, like in the adult? Uh, not that much. Yeah. I can so check yes. constantly. I can check constantly. Uh, and ruin the side effects uh, of the treatment. Yeah, definitely. And it's, it's, I don't think you'll have any side effects because of your diet. If your diet is good and you can um, replace your bacteria and your stuff. You know what to do. You'll be all right. Well, the, it's, yes, that's really the question, not whether it hurts you. Because, I mean, when you ask the question, that's why I got yes. Well, it does, it will damage you, happen. but you could... I mean, my father was over 90 years old and had a very strong antibiotic, which he was, I mean, it just changed him, but he got over it. He made, you know, he got through it. It, it didn't work completely. He had to be really strong. It didn't even work because it just couldn't handle it. So, um, so that's really the question, you know, is that whether you can, you know, Handle it basically. Um, the yeah. You know uh, the fact uh, that uh, that makes me uh, thinking is that this uh, this lady doctor, who is very kind, I have to say, talked to my pneumologist, and he knows very well uh, the situation of my lungs. Right. And so Eve, he says it's better if she takes it, she has to breathe in. I would take it. You would take it, Barb? Yeah. I mean, I've, I've never had any, I've, I've taken antibiotics very rarely as an adult, but when I did, I just uh, handled the side of it and it uh, worked very well. And if you yeah. already have a wound injury, you're already compromised once. Well, just so you know, it's okay to take it. Yeah. It is okay. It is okay to take it. Back when I was like 21, and I was about. I am also counting a lot. On the fact uh, that I keep myself clean, uh, being immune every day, all day. Right, right, right. And these matters, I think that between me and a person who doesn't do immune, there is a difference. Right, exactly. And you can do immune with your um, antibiotic. You just have it really work. You know, just like yeah, I'm, with, I'm stronger. Yeah, exactly. It'll be your ally. It'll work well. Well, it's a choice, you know, if, if you don't feel like you have to do something to get rid of the tuberculosis bacteria. Now, if you don't want to fast through it, and God knows, I don't have no idea how long you'd have to fast to kill it. It might be, it might be months of, like, water fasting or something, you know. And I can't afford it because I, I get to work. 
Right. And I remember that Jenna uh, said while she was fasting, she wasn't doing uh, any physical exercise. I uh, have to get in a car, drive a car, you know, go to work, uh, speak for hours. So what else can we test? I don't know if you need to test anything else until you start to take the antibiotics and then you're probably going to have a lot to test. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I take uh, vitamin E as the doctor suggested and I'll uh, also take a lot of vitamin B. I'm going to drink uh, tons of carrot juice. Cucumber. Yeah, you, she, I was thinking you ought to take some root and see that I'm so sweet as carrot juice. I know you like carrot juice, but green juices and pineapple juice, things that aren't quite so mucus forming. Carrot juice is pretty yeah. sweet. Especially if you're drinking it straight. So maybe you can put parsley in there or, or celery or sure. Yeah. Um, juices are good, but not straight carrot is pretty sweet. I can do that. Okay. Carrot juice removes mucus from the lungs. Yes. Yeah. You know, Angela was taking chemotherapy for cancer. And she had no side effects whatsoever. She was fine. I remember. I remember that. She was absolutely fine. And she, it's, she was doing a great fast while on the chemotherapy. <clears throat> and she had lots of energy. Yes, I remember. I remember her video. Uh-huh. And uh, if I choose to take the antibiotic, and they're going to take my liver very, very often. Yeah. That's good. Lots of food. Now, how do they test your liver? I don't know. I think they do an echography, or maybe just blood test. Right. I think medium rare with some fava beans. <laughs> Greg, I'm afraid nobody got that. I did, but... Oh, Barb did funny. too, but... <laughs> You're right, I did. But I was not laughing purpose. I'm not laughing, I know. They didn't want to hurt you. I know, I, I <laughs> don't want to stop. Take us off track. I just, I know. <laughs> just one little clip. I don't go on when I see there's no, you know. Plus, it's a ninety, as you know. Hannibal Lecter. Great. Boosika is coming on. Yahoo! Maybe. 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 No, Maybe I just, I just tried her again. I don't know if she's going to come on. You know, somebody ought to try writing her something yeah. on Skype or... Well, if she got on Skype... Because you notice she's not answering. Also, I don't hear it. It's not making the noise it's supposed to make when it rings. Yeah. I'm stuck typing her. Mm. Except there's a picture in the way. Right.
that, and I don't know whatever you know, try her on Facebook, but if she's online, you think she Yeah, it says she's online here. I'll try our Facebook thing here. Looks like she's trying to uh, to join the call. Really? I oh, yeah. think so, from what I see. No, it's just I just I called her. That's why her picture's there because I called her. I sent her a note here on Facebook. I think... I don't think she ever looks at Facebook. Maybe you should try sending her one on Skype. I did that too, so okay. it is what it is. Yeah, okay. I think that's... Other than her phone, that's what we got. So, you know, she's probably busy. we should work with you, Rosella, maybe both Franny and I could work with you for an extended period, not just the 50 minutes or an hour, but, you know, maybe a longer session, an hour and a half or whatever, an hour and a half. Okay, thank you. <coughs> so I can thank be on at um, Franny 11 your time, 10 my time? Yeah. Would you mean 5 my time? Um, and and take my time with you, Greg. You know what? I want to say, I don't agree with that. I think that Ross is fine. Ross, I think I just want to say that I think you're fine. I think you're you're in control. I I feel fine. Why don't you test this? Am I afraid to take the antibiotics? Am I afraid to take the antibiotics? No. Barb, what do you get when you test that? She's free. Greg, what do you get? I got no. When, <clears throat> when you uh, work, here's another thing that you can t all test. When I work with Greg, do I get cure as much as when I'm working on myself? Like when Greg is the focus, do I cure as much as when I'm working on myself? Greg, what do you get? I always test yes. <laughs> I get. I get yes. I get yes. So you don't really need to change anything. Um, a gen do you, by the way, do you exchange when you, t when you, like Greg, when you are with Ross, does she work on you some and you work on yourself some and her, she helps you and you help uh, her? I guess we did that a little bit, but um, no, it's mostly been attention on me, but there is an exchange back and forth and I know that she's learning and testing things herself. So, you know, we haven't really been exchanging all right. Which I value because I feel the same way. I get a lot out of working with somebody. I used to love doing massages for that. I got a workout and I felt like I had a big massage. Mm -hmm. And that's not even Munich. Well, it was my Munich. You know, it's... I'm learning a lot from working with Greg because um, when we work on team, and I do something wrong, uh, he tells me. Mm -hmm. So very good for me. Or when, uh, actually, like when you ask a question, it doesn't seem to be the question. I, you know, that's just like, how, what is it from my side? What is my reaction to that? And what, what would be that it spurs me to ask this question instead? 
And I also get a lot of the work he was trying. Well, I'm glad you said that. Phew! <laughs> yeah, just in case I didn't feel good. <laughs> yeah, it's true, Franny. You know, I'm, I'm not the person you like on this sort of thing. It's true. I'm just it's teasing. Really true. I'm just teasing you. Me and Franny exchange more. Yeah, with well, your girls. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel bad. Just tease me. No, come on, Greg. Don't feel bad. <laughs> don't feel bad. <laughs> we exchange a lot. I know. Promise. Greg, you look very good today. Ta-da! <laughs> You do. You look really good. You look. I mean, have you been eating well or something? Because you, you, there is a difference. I'm out of vegetables. I've been out of vegetables today. I had some frozen vegetables. Yesterday, I didn't have any vegetables. I mean, that's probably why. You need to stop eating vegetables. <laughs> no. So uh, <laughs> actually, I, I said I really need. Uh, I was going to go over to. Um, Desi was going to pick me up. We were going to go uh, visit her mother. I did not heard about her diagnosis about all her cancer and stuff, but she has extended cancer. But Desi called it off. She said she needed some downtime. Desi just had a hip operation. And uh, I said, that's fine. I need some me time, too. Um, so, I, you know, I feel good. I've um, been not pushing it in any one way or the other. I still take, stay up too late, though. But the thing is, I've been saying, okay, if I stayed up late, I've just got to get more sleep, so I'll stay in bed a little bit longer. But the idea is to pair it off that end so I go to bed earlier, and then I can get up my normal time. <clears throat> I want everybody to test, has God chosen me? You need to come off mute when you talk, Fran. What? Is there more yeah. to that? Chosen me for what? Has God chosen? The question is, has God chosen me? I guess he has. And then the next question. Yes, I get yes. Barb's question. What's 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 the question? The next question. What for? For what? <laughs> now, what did you get? No gets no. Greg, what did you get? Yes. And Barb, what did you get? Thumbs up. Way up. Um, am, I, am I at this moment capable of tipping cure into global consciousness? I'm asking everyone to Everybody. test. I'm giving you a C. Yes. Okay, Francis. Yes. yes, and I get that I am. It's just other parameters that you might want to test, like. <laughs> well, now you, you know, want to remember yeah. that we're talking about you personally. Yes. Yes, I get me. I get you. Okay. <laughs> um. You want to remember this. Um, like when you tested that, like, and you got a yes on that. Like, Ross, let me ask you. Did you, did you feel empowered? I felt normal. I didn't feel anything specific. I just got my yes. Maybe I, I felt a little bit... Yeah. Yeah, me too. I felt like you did about the antibiotics. I felt the luck did about the years. Like the responsibility. Mm -hmm. I am with you because I know God shows you. You know, Barb, I always. I always knew that God chose you. 
Uh-huh. Like How all, did you know that? All these many years. Uh-huh. Well, a few things. Uh-huh. You know, have you ever stopped to think, like, if you, you know, if you had not cured two medically incurable diseases, and see, I knew that you cured the Epstein-Barr virus, and I knew that in 1995. I didn't wait for you to get a negative medical test. I, I always knew that you cured your herpes. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you're lucky that you had those diseases <clears throat> to cure, because if you had not accomplished that, and you never had any, anything to cure, I might have just thrown you aside years ago. Like I did with so many other people. When you were angry at me and pushing me away, I might have just let you. Mm-hmm. Of course, that didn't happen until after you lived with us, you know. <laughs> And then you went to Santa Fe, and you've gone through so many periods of like being, being negative. But you know, it never bothered me because I always knew who you are. What about you, Greg? Um, I've always known who I am. Have you um, always known who Barb is? I've always known who Barb is. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many other things wrong with me besides the viruses. It seems like. Yeah, but see, in a way, nothing's wrong because it's all you. Yeah, I know. It's just a matter of how you organize. You're being so crazy lately. Like, where do you go with all this? What do we do? And there's so much information out there. You know, you just go with unconditional love. You really need that. You have that from your mom. Yeah. It's you have fun. Have that from us. You know, you you may not recognize it sometime or even fight it. But yeah. Right. But I know that I have that from you guys. So it's easy to just look. You know, again, if you look at the places where you think you're wrong or something's wrong or right. bad, then you see it's just you know more information and. So part of it is curing that attitude about yourself as as well as whatever the thing is that's detrimental, like treasure, like find a way to use myself wisely. A lot of people's reactions to you is that they just don't know how to take you, how to deal with you. They can't control you, you know? You know, that's... Well, every day I try to have a good day. I do spend a lot of time on my own. I guess that's is about. So that's that's the key. Like, what happens when you're on your own? You know, do you slip back? Do you switch back? No, not really. Not really. I'm taking care of myself, especially now that I have more time and more incentive. <coughs> What do we do? What do we do with this? If there is some of a gift we have, right? I'll be okay. If there is something not going to lie, just lighting else. Well, remember last week, Bob, you said something very good. Mm-hmm. At the end of the meeting, you were saying that it doesn't feel to you like you have an action plan. Mm hmm. Right. And I feel like so oh, off in too many directions. Yeah, that's right. And you're saying the same thing now, sort of, aren't you? Kind of, yeah. I mean, some sort of that could happen rather than, you know, seeking it out. <clears throat> so let's talk about action plans. Over the last few weeks, 
we've been talking about supporters, possible supporters. And, you know, one thing I, I was asking Jen, unfortunately, who's not here, have you, you know, did you ever think to write to John McDonald? And she said it never actually even occurred to her. John McDonald, for those of you who have, don't remember, is a, is a vegetarian, an MD who advocates vegetarianism. He's written a few books, and he's a very wonderful person, you know, who really is, uh, wants to see people cure things. <clears throat> and is a potential supporter, like Martin Lee was, or perhaps still is somewhere up there. Martin, if you're uh, listening Martin. now, thank you for your support. Um, <clears throat> okay, in the last week, Barb, did you write to or contact any potential supporters? Tell us about them. Me? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I, I, I uh, wouldn't say formally, but I, I'm starting to think more intelligently, like you mentioned it yesterday, with that, like, I, you know, there's a handful of people I know on Facebook that have 2,000, 3,000 friends already, or they're, they have the followings, and... Uh, well, you say, you wouldn't say formally. But I have, like... Them, but I was thinking last night that what I need to do is just introduce them to you and Greg and let you talk to them. I okay. Think so what you're sort of saying here, what I'm hearing is that you don't know what to say to them. Mm, yeah. That would be accurate. Now, what about you, Greg, in the last week? <sighs> have you contacted any potential supporters? Like found somebody on the web and said, "Oh wow, this this guy, uh, he's great, you know, and he's and he seems so open and like I like this guy. I think I'll I think I'll drop him a line and say." Uh, no, I haven't. You know, I I keep an eye out. So you haven't. So no, now, I haven't. Why wouldn't you? I mean, it's been a whole week. You probably. Uh, did you did you actually run across anybody who you felt that no, way? I mean, if I if I read the newspaper, I look at news. I mean, news, newspaper online, read the news. I might see somebody interesting, but I don't. Where am I going to run across anybody? I, you know, I yeah, sort of news. see who contacts I, no, me and would, say, okay, who is this sure, person? Sure, sure, you would run across people in the news. A lot of people in the news are not very accessible. Right. But then there are some that are. Yeah, so it would be in person or... Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to someone at the club or I'll meet somebody at the theater. Did you? Did you do uh, that in the last week? Not in the last week, no. There's something else here. We're, we're really, like, the action plan that we're talking about is... Let's say I watch a movie with Tony Robbins and there's this guy in the movie <coughs> who made, you know, a few million dollars selling a tomato planting system. And uh, he has this great approach for doing, making money on the web with his tomato planting system. And uh, he, Tony Robbins has coached him and he's done really well in the coaching with Tony Robbins, so that's what, partially why he made so much money. And Tony Robbins is interviewing him, talking to him about it. And I see this guy's name, and I realize, here's a guy, he's on the web, he's like, you know, he's, he's interacting with people all day, and I could probably write to him, and he, it, he's reachable. You know what I mean? Yeah, all right. It's not like writing to, you know, Russell Crowe, a movie star. This guy's like, he's there, he's reading his email, and, or whatever he's doing. I would think Russell Crowe might be really excessive. Russell Crowe would be great if I was sitting next to him in a sushi bar. But as, as far as calling his way, agent and stuff, I don't, you know, I think I'd probably be better off contacting this. See, the, Russell yeah. Crowe might be a terrific ally, 
But this guy that I'm thinking of, he's not ally material. He's a supporter. You know, he's somebody like Martin Lee, who might get into this and say, wow, this is great. Well, of course I'll put a note in my, you know, when I send my email out to my regular right. clients, you know, I'll put a little note about this. And so a few hundred or a few thousand people find out and start curing things. Because somebody they trusted talked to them. That's a supporter. That's the definition of a supporter. It's a very narrow thing. Supporters are completely different from allies. Yeah. We all clear about this? They're not the same thing at all. Do you remember, a long time ago, Greg, um, you had a stockbroker you were talking to about your investment trust. Right. And uh, you, 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 know, you guys were schmoozing a lot, and you told him about this, and you were saying you wanted to be on Oprah at one point to him. You, and you know, the guy said to you, well, guess what? I was on Oprah last week. Remember this? Uh, I remember something like that. Yeah, the guy had been on Oprah there. A bunch of stockbrokers got together and they did this charity called Stockbrokers in Pajamas where they went out and handed out leaflets for a charity in their pajamas on Wall Street. <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, he said here, and he t gives you this number, and he said here's the number of the producer at Oprah who talked to me. And you gave me the number. Yeah, we... we and I called her and nothing called. came of it. She just had, was utterly clueless. I didn't know what to say to her. So, anyway, that's a supporter. He was a supporter. Right. Okay? Now, also, the producer I talked to at Oprah when I called that number was also a potential supporter. And quite frankly, when I called her, I had no idea what to say to her. Even though I had written the web college and I had told, I had taught a bajillion people, you know, already. I was, it was like we were years into this, but I did not know what to say to this woman when I was on the phone with her. Getting anything out of this so far? Yep. Well, um, what are you getting? Tell me what you're getting. Well, we progressed. We probably know more what to say, but I think it's still a, a big chasm there. What's the chasm? Tell me. Of how do you talk to somebody? Thank you, because I think there's a big chasm too. Barb, what do you think? Uh, I, I think it's huge. I think it's huge, and it might be simple to. I'm talking about that guy David Vanella, who is some fellow on Facebook who has a the editor of a magazine, I think, or some kind of publication. And he asked me to write an article, What is in Munich? Oh. So, um, of course, there's a million things on our website that, you know, maybe answer that question, but uh, I don't want to be answered. But, no, there's um, a lot of these things, one articles. And that, that's an ally. He is an ally. He has already offered his support. I'm sorry, I said ally. See, I'm confused about it. Oh, you mean supporter. He is not an ally. He is a supporter. He is offering his support. And why don't we get in touch with him and I'll be happy to uh, collaborate with you on the, what you write. Mm -hmm. Do you ever talk to him? Not online. So you mean get together with him before or after you write something? Before, so you know what to write. Mm -hmm. okay, well, I, mean, I think maybe there should be a morning where we meet with potential well, allies your first and step, supporters. Your first step is to tweet a link to his thing that he has online. Okay. And please go on right now and do that. Can you tweet us a link now? I gotta find it. Maybe it's on his profile. All right, go ahead and find it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep talking about this while you're finding it. So, find it, tweet it, and then we can see it. Now, Ross, what about you? Did you contact 
Any potential supporters? No, um, I wouldn't know who to contact. Okay. There is no one important for a very rich idea that I know and I, I could contact. If there, were, there was, uh, I think that uh, the difficult part um, would be starting uh, a conversation or a letter to get in touch. The, the starting part is very difficult, but then it could be easier once you have started. Well, um, so what you're saying is that your reason for not contacting any potential supporters is you have no idea even who they are. Yes, I don't know. I don't know anyone. I would not know who to contact. Well, now I just told a little story a minute ago, right? And it was about this guy I saw Tony Robbins interviewing, and he's uh, he he sells uh, things on the web, and he sells a, a system for planting tomatoes on the web. Remember the story I told? Yes. And I said that he seemed like I liked him. He seemed like a nice, very nice person, and. Uh, he was doing a good thing for people with his tomato planting system and he also um, it seemed like somebody who I could reach maybe with email or just writing to him through his website or something so I'm, that, there was an idea for a potential supporter get it? yeah okay yeah I see what you mean so I don't know him either like you were saying that you don't know anybody and I don't know him but he, I saw his movie on YouTube. So I actually saw him on YouTube. So I feel like I know him because I was listening to him when he was talking on YouTube. <clears throat> so I feel like we had lunch together. Did you understand? I, I thought that was funny, but I didn't see anybody going laugh at that. I felt like he and I had lunch because I saw The laugh was there. It's just... I saw his YouTube movie. Ross, did you understand that joke? <laughs> no. Well, it's just a stupid joke anyway, so maybe there's nothing much to understand. Um, but see, the idea is, have you, do you like ever look around on the web at, you know, people and see people who you like? Not very much now because I have very little time. So when I'm on the web, I'm on Twitter, Facebook, or on the hub. Right. Once I used to surf more uh, um, when I began doing units, and I remember I uh, got in touch with a guy and I sent him uh, the booklet I had got in the beginning, telling him, uh, "Look, uh, have a look at this. You may be interested." And uh, he answered, uh, and he told me, thank you very much, but I already know how to take care of my immune system. And I said, okay, good So, that's a good story. And I want to tell you that one of two things is true, given what you've just said. Either he was the wrong person to talk to, quite possibly, yeah. or you said the wrong thing. I didn't say much, really. I just sent him an email with an attachment, and the attachment was the, 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 the booklet that I got. The first thing, uh, the very first thing I got when I started doing Munich, and I wanted to share. That was many, many years ago. Well, that might have been the wrong thing to say. Yes, yes, probably. Um, um, what's rule number one? What number one? Rule number one? Yeah, what's, yeah, what's, what's rule number one? Don't talk about Fight Club. 
Rule no, number. What? What, Rosella? Rosella, what? Would you go on mute, please? Rosella, would you go on mute? I didn't want to say anything. What, Ross? I didn't want to say anything. Okay. What's rule number one? Just do. Do you remember what rule number one is? Greg is Greg is trying to jump jump in and say what rule number one is, but let me ask you, Russ. Do you know? Do you remember what rule number one is? You're breaking up. Greg. Greg. Greg, mute your microphone. I don't think it's me, but I can't right now. It is you. I can see it. I'm in the bathroom. I cannot come to the microphone right now. Take your time. Greg, you're the chosen one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your house from up here. No. Remember that, Jake? <laughs> uh, guys. Well, I'm. No, stop. Let's go to the bathroom. Ross, what's rule number one? I didn't say, don't say immunity. Don't go to the bathroom. Rule number one is don't tell. Don't tell anyone about immunix. Okay. Do not tell people about immunix. Okay. That's rule number one. Oh, thanks, Greg. I appreciate you for flushing the toilet. Satisfied now? <laughs> Whose phone is ringing? Who? I have three phones buttons. So all... <laughs> You're a busy man. <laughs> You're a very busy man, Greg. <laughs> okay, so so what happened was that you you wrote to this guy and told him about a Munich. <laughs> Ross, I'm listening. Greg, go on mute, please. Mute your microphone. Thank you. Okay. Now, Ross, uh, I, uh, uh, what, like, what you just told us you did was you wrote to this guy and told him about Immunix. Yes. So would you say you said the wrong thing to him? Probably, yes. Probably he got offended because uh, he was a guy who cured the... Uh, People that could be stunned and. Oh, hi, oh, hi, Paul. Sorry, I'll, I'll call you back, okay? Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, and, uh, yeah, there was a break okay. there. The, yes, it crashed for a moment. Anyway, the guy was. Uh, was uh, I talked to the same even who was working at a decent to people. So probably um, oh. he took uh, what was a sincere offer uh, on, from my part. Um, Ross, and, Ross, and listen. Ross, stop, stop, stop. You're, you're doing too much. You're, doing, you're just doing, you're thinking about it too much. Uh, okay. Rule number one is don't tell anybody about Immunix. And you told him about Immunix. So you don't really have to try to figure out whether he was the right or the wrong person anymore because there's no way to tell. If you, if you say the wrong thing, it, it, the person might be the right person or the wrong person, but you, it does, doesn't really matter. Well, what's the right thing? Um... Well, you know, let's go back to the story of Nate, okay? Um, Barb, that's a good question. So let's go back to the story of Nate. Now, Barb, are you, did you tweet that uh, link to us yet? Yes. So we've got, we've got the link. So I'll have a look at that later. And then you, we might, you might not have a huge following, but whatever, if you ask me. 
Well, I will, uh, I will tell you later whether he's got a huge following. We can find out all about him and talk to him and uh, be very gracious and generous with the man. He sounds like a good person. Okay, so now I'd like you to close your Twitter and focus completely on me. Give me your undivided attention, okay? Since you've tweeted it. You can eat. Okay, that, that's fine. Please, it's, it's, eating is acceptable during these meetings. In fact, it's encouraged. <laughs> we, en we encourage eating. Well, if eating is encouraged, then I don't want to do other a meeting. end is encouraged too. So I don't. I don't want to do a meeting with pe with people with low blood sugar. <laughs> is one one reason why I encourage eating. <clears throat> Get something in that microwave. Oh, I need the microwave. Yeah, I need them. I got two sticks together and I throw a fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I cook my meat the way I kill my viruses. <laughs> Granny, what? Could you wash this uh, celery? I don't have a chance for it. I don't want to have some very good wish. Yeah. You're asking what to say. And if we go back to the story of Nate, Nate spends around eight months curing things and tweeting over and over again, every time he does. He has a smartphone, he carries it in his pocket. When he cures something, he picks, he pulls the phone out, he turns on his voice recognition, and he says what he cures. He doesn't type. You're breaking up a lot. Oh yeah? Ross, can you hear me? Am I breaking up for you? I can hear you, but you're breaking up a bit. Okay, Greg, am I breaking up for you? A little bit, uh, but I was on mute, so it's not affected by me. We got, we got large solar flares headed this way, so... If you, if you stay on mute. Paul, stay on mute. I am going to. Okay, because... Then my then they'll be able to hear me. My voice won't break up. Uh, I stay on mute. Okay. All right, buddy. Good to see you, by the way. Hello, hello, and good to see you. Glad you could make it. Hello, Paul. I'm receiving healing energy from all of y'all right now. Well, we're happy to provide. It's great to I, be with you. I had I had the surgery on my ears, and now the, I'm waiting for the stitches to dissolve. About a week ago now. So. Good for you. Working on that stuff. Okay. So what has Nate been saying to people for all that time, Barb? What does he say? What have you been talking about? What does he uh, say? What is he saying to uh, people? I was just thinking about that, Jay. I guess he's talking about his curing his herpes or something or what he works on every day. Yeah. He cures mm -hmm. things and when he cures something, like, here, let's try something, okay? Let me get Barb and Ross on camera here, okay? Now, Ross and Barb, um, I, Barb, <coughs> Ross, I'll tell you what. Ro let me test. Should, should Barb? Okay, Ross. Yes. I want you to say the names of pathologies for Barb to test for, and for you to test for. And let's see who finds a pathology. Okay, so just say the names of pathologies and Barb and you both test for them. And everybody okay. else, test yourselves for pathologies, starting with... But, do you mean the pathologies of the lead? Bacteria? Yes. Okay. Okay, do, okay, do I have okay. any bacteria in any of my bodies? Okay, uh, shall I start testing on me or on Barb? 
Uh, just say the names of them in both tests. Okay, okay. Bacteria. Yes. Uh, fungus. Uh-oh. Yes. Yes. Okay, stop. Uh, stop. Okay, good. She found one. Okay. I'm right. glad I was, yes, on bacteria also. Uh, I removed it when I said yes. Okay. And fungus, did you remove that? Yeah. Is it gone? Yep. Now that it's gone, can you see what the symptoms of it were? Like what 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 went with it? You know, what is what is now missing that is was an obvious symptom of it? I think it was dog was more limited. I felt like I had more of a cat vignette, like I feel bigger, like uh, mentally bigger, mentally more expansive. Was stuck in the third dimension, <laughs> I guess you could say. Okay. More. My, my mind feels more free. Get, get Twitter up and get ready to tweet. Hmm? Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, if you. Everybody, get Twitter up and get ready to tweet. Okay. Yes, sir. Tweet. Now, Barb. Mm -hmm. Write this, okay? Just removed a fungus. Barb? Barb? Yeah, I'm typing. Okay, just removed a fungus. Just has to withdraw some bacteria and some condition higher bugs. You don't have to do any, don't write anything I don't tell you. You don't have to say from your this higher life. Okay. Just remove the fungus. I feel, and then say the things that you just said you feel. And that should be short enough to tweet. Now, Ross, can you see anything that's the equivalent of that for you to tweet? Um, just mentioned a couple of pathologies to Barb, and she removed them. And then I can tell that she feels more free. How about that? Um, what about you? What happened for you? Um, I, I, I fell I, uh, sleepful. Telling her the name of pathologies and having her remove them. That okay, well, we'll say this. Then say this. Okay. Helped Barb. T test this question, but first test this question. Did okay. I did I remove bacteria from me? Yes. So, so, so you can write. Uh, so you can write. I just yes. remove. Uh, so you can write. I just remove bacteria. I feel peaceful. And Greg, what happened with what happened for you? Greg, did you find anything to tweet? I just got off mute. Um, there's feedback with Nels. Um, nothing much happened for me. It's
Okay, I'll say a couple of pathologies. I can't hear you. Do, do I have retention? Test, test these questions. Okay, do I have retention? Yes. Okay. Did so. You, did you remove it? Um, yes, I removed it so I could tweet about something. Let me put it on mute again. Okay. So, Barb, to go back to your question now, did you send your tweet yet? Barb? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, you sent your tweet. Now, to go back to your question, okay, now it's just. Close Twitter, stay with me. Do you see more about what Nate is saying for eight months, 20 times a day? What do you do? Do you see more of what it's like for him? When he cures something, he tweets about it. It's just exactly like what you just did. Yes. Yeah. Do you see what, what he's been doing? Yes. Barb, can you see it? Can you picture Nate's day? Yeah. Like picture him going through the day. Okay. So eight months later, somebody asked him for coaching. One of these people who's following him on Twitter. You have to realize, like at this point, he's up to like he has like seventy thousand followers, and one person asks him, "You still there?" Because I saw you got yeah. up. You're not on camera yeah. anymore, but you're still with me, though, right? Sure. I'll, I'll just I'll I'll wait for you to come back. She must be getting her food or something. Here. That's, that's, a, that's a lot of tweeting. But anyway, I'm right to you. Okay. You got to show you? Yeah, it's an, yeah. Enormous, it's an enormous amount of tweeting. But see, Nate wants to do it. He, he's curing the thing. That's, he doesn't, he's not trying to get an ally or a supporter. He just wants to tweet. He likes tweeting. Mm -hmm. You know, he likes communicating about his cures, and at some point, like we just made a movie with Boots the other day. It's right at the top of my Facebook wall. And she was talking about how she would, she would probably keep out of trouble better if she tweeted more. Remember what we yeah. talked about with so, Boots on Tuesday, Barb? Keep on looking. What? Yeah. I was just saying it seems like people want something that, like, you do it once and it's all day, you know. They want to hear pause. Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe this is Boots. I'm trying her again. I'm trying calling her home phone again. You know, right? She didn't pass her testing. <laughs> you say maybe she didn't pass her test and she's in a downward spiral and mm. No. No. Come on. No. Come on, not Jen. Come on, forget that. I talked to her yesterday, she didn't get Mm. Hello, Boots, are you there? Hi, Byron. Hi there. Jen? What's <laughs> Oh, Byron. Hi, Ross. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Do it again. 
That's funny. Hey again, come on. Hi, Bayard. That is funny. Hi, Ross. How are you? <laughs> oh, just great. You too. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid Boots's message is recording all this stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want you to see me calling myself. Boots, are you there? No. Oh. Even if she were, she went away. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Ross, where are you? <laughs> Let's try it again. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Here, let's, try, let's do that. No reply. Well. <clears throat> You know, like, we're all sitting here, and we don't know what to say. Now you're seeing how somebody learns what to say. They talk a lot. And I've talked to a lot of people. Um, my thing is to just see them, be with them, and, and make a comment that is appropriate to their situation. And so we strike up a conversation, and usually I have something to offer them that is in Munich and could help them and they go oh why yeah, good yeah and you know I said well you know like test on that well they asked what do you do and so I they, you know I help people cure things and so we get talking but again I talk too much about Fight Club about Munich's but I try to make it personal in the moment Barb, do you happen to remember contacting Martin Lee the first time, what you said to him? Um, not exactly. I mean, not for the, the time period, but I think I had invited him to a cure show. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that was the thing while you were talking, right? You know, it seems like what people want to see is, or experience every day, people like themselves doing this, and then... I would say, you know, the, that's um, probably absolutely right. It's absolutely right what you're saying. Totally, totally right. Like, like a brand new person. <clears throat> Look, hey, Ross, let me go you back to you. Know. Ross, you're, you're there, right, with me? Okay, I'm talking to you now. <laughs> Okay. Now, um, do you remember the story when, about when Nate goes over to Jane Fonda? Yes. What does he say to her? He, he asks her if he can sit with her at dinner. And then he sits down, and what does he say to her when he sits after he's there with her? Oh, gosh. He starts talking about hearing things. Remember anything other than that about it? He tells her that uh, he has seen her uh, protesting. Well, actually, no. His friend was telling him about her. I think he, he asked her if she has anything to cure. <laughs> nope. He doesn't ask her if she has anything to cure, ever. Okay, I love, I love the game. You know why? I'll tell you. Because actually, when I told the story, you didn't hear it. Or you didn't remember it, you could say I didn't remember it, but there was, like when I told it, like, you didn't relate it to yourself, like there was nothing there for you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, we, yeah. we remember things, look, you know why people have trouble learning English with you when you're teaching them English? They tell me. Well, because they don't see it as relevant to them. But if you talk to them about things that they care about, they'll probably learn faster. Get the idea? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, if they get the flu, 
and you're teaching them how to cure the flu in English, they'll probably learn a lot of, of English from curing the flu, yes. don't you think? Yes. So, okay. Yes. Yeah. Good one, good one. So, um... But maybe now... Maybe... Maybe you'll get more out of the Jane Fonda story now than you did the first time. If I tell it again, what do you think? Yes, learned something already. Yeah. What are you? What, Barb? I didn't understand what you just. Oh, I was saying I learned something today already. What'd you learn? <laughs> just don't talk about when you feel bad. Just clear things constantly, and, and don't ever have a problem. <laughs> Be happy all the time. Yeah, you just, that's right. See, that, if, if that's so all I'm you... I'm not even trying to attract the ally by being unhappy or... Uh, <laughs> if or that's like how... Wanting, wanting it really badly. Yeah. You have to really not care and just like, be happy every day. I know, you've been using negative feelings to manipulate people. <clears throat> and you, yeah. and you, uh, if you don't learn anything else but this from this meeting, we, we, we did a great thing in this meeting. It's worth it. It's worth all the everything we've done in this meeting. All you have to do is just take that one thing away from it. Yep. You know, it's, that's amazing. I'm so glad to hear you say that. Really, that's a big breakthrough for you, Barb. It's a huge breakthrough for you. Every we should all be, you know, really. Every, I just want to tell everybody that this is an important day for Barb, and we should all be congratulating her right now. <laughs> I'm dead Congrats, serious. Bob. I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of you. You have greatness, Barb. You have Thank greatness. You. you know? Well, for one thing, I'll just say that during his initial conversation with her, he never mentions the word immunix once. Or the cure drive. I don't know if you remember what, much about what, what he said to her. But he does not mention the word immunix or the cure drive. And what he does, the first thing he does is he sits down, and the women are both looking at him. You know, there's two women there. There's Jane and her friend. <clears throat> her friend's name is Layla. I made a name for her friend because, <laughs> and I, I made it Layla because I thought, well, I'm, I'll never forget the name Layla, so I can remember that one. So Jane, Jane and Layla are sitting there, and Nate takes out his phone, his smartphone, and he punches a key, and his Twitter comes up. He doesn't say a word to them. He actually just turns the phone to them, and he shows them the Twitter screen, where it shows his face, and it says that he has 110,000 people who follow him on Twitter. And, and it says that he's cured herpes, you know, and that he, you know, his last outbreak was May 11th. It says that on the screen. I don't know if they read that or notice it, but he says, he says to them, he says, this is my Twitter account. And that they can see that it's a Twitter account. But Jane Fon is on Twitter, so she tweets, so she knows. You, if, you, if you hook in, by the way, to Jane Fonda's Twitter, you will see her talking to She talks to people on Twitter. Jane Fonda's a real, like, you know, she's a real, like, neighbor. She's a person who keeps connected with, with everybody. Like, she's just a wonderful person, really. Barb, um, do me a favor and don't look at the computer, please, and, like, just collapse that and stay with me, okay? Barb, hello? Barb? I'm on, mute. I'm on mute. Yes, I'm here. Uh, just don't look at the computer, okay? Okay. Just, just collapse the window, stay with me, you know, look at Ross's picture on the, on the computer. <laughs> and uh, Ross froze, by the way, so we can't see Ross. Look, Franny? Oh, that's Franny's frozen too, but it's... No, that's a Franny, that's a still. Hey, Ross, you know, your picture's... Your picture's frozen, Ross. If you turn your camera off and turn it back on, maybe you'll come back. Okay, I will. Okay. So. Am I back? Yeah. We'll tell you. We'll tell you in a minute. Uh, 
I think you might have to leave it off a little longer. But Russ, move your move. Oh wait, no, 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 no. It's good, good. Oh no. Excuse me. It was it was good. It was good. It was good. I didn't realize you just weren't moving, and I thought you were still. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah, okay. There you are. Oh, okay, Ross. Ross, this this one this is going out to you. I'm going to tell this for you, okay? Ross. Hey. Okay. Ross, you can stop waving your hands now. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to okay, I'm going to tell you the this this point, okay? So Nate is sitting with Jane and Layla, and he holds up his smartphone and he shows them his Twitter page. You with me so far? Yeah. And he says, "Okay, this is my this is my Twitter." And you notice here, I have 110,000 people following me, and he, he taps his finger on the number, and he says to them that. Almost all of these people who are following me on Twitter are curing a medically incurable disease. And then there are some who aren't. And uh, he sits back, and they're looking, and they go, and they sort of nod, you know, like, okay, I'm with you so far. And he says, now, my friend... I, there's this guy Sam. He's right over. You see, he's a and he's Sam. Actually, happens to be in the dining room. So he points to Sam and he says, "Sam is one of our best massage therapists." And Sam is this old guy. He's like about Jane Fonda's age. And he says, "You know, Sam is a Vietnam vet, and he became a war protester back when you went to Hanoi." And the funny thing is that two weeks ago, Sam was telling me all about when you went and sat on the dams and you stopped them from bombing the dams. And I realized then that you're, uh, you could do, you can do for seven billion people what you did for five million Vietnamese whose lives you saved because they all would have died if those dams got bombed. And all these, these seven billion people that you see wandering around on this earth, they need to know that they can cure medically incurable diseases without medicine. And you could tell them. You, mo most people, I have not been able to do that. And he holds up his phone again and says, see this? 11 months and all I got is this measly 110,000 people on here. And Nobody even believes us or listens to us. But you can actually do something that we can't do. And I, want, I'm, I came over here to ask you to do it. So that's why I'm sitting here with you. I'm asking you to, I'm, I want you to do for the seven billion people what, you know, what none of us can do. Will you do that? And she hasn't said a word. And he did not ask her if she wanted to cure anything. He didn't tell her that he could help her. He didn't mention Immunix. He didn't mention the cure drive. He didn't show her, you know. But all this is all he said. This is all he said to her. It is great. And you know what? The reason he knew what to say is because at this point he has spent almost a year doing what you just did a minute ago when you tweeted those two cures. And he's been doing that 20 times a day on a smartphone. Yeah. And he has many, many other people who are also doing it and he's retweeting their tweets. Now everybody go to the home page of our website. We're going to end our meeting in five minutes. And I want you to see the home page of our website. Okay? So go to the home page of our website and if you do, you are going to see, ta-da, ta-da,
Mike, you've... Okay, so the first thing, look at the, um, look at the marquee scrolling across the top, okay? You see it? See the moving letters? Ross, do you see that? No. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Excuse me. All right, read what it That's says. Good one. Yes, I see the moving letters. S read what it says. Unis will empower an otherwise helpless mother in the third world to teach her four-year-old how to cure his own dengue fever. Flu, herpes, HIV, CMV, or any other medically incurable viral-based disease. That came from me doing this work with about Nate. That's how, that's how I came to this. The reason that's there is because I started wondering what Nate would say. You know, Nate is really helping me, you know? Now, I want you to go down to grid four. Grid four is down one screen. And you'll see our Twitter feed is there. Yes. Your tweets are now feeding through the home page. You see that? Yeah. yeah. So when you tweet, what happens when you tweet uh -huh. is I retweet your tweets and through, down through there they go. Get it? Yeah. For example, here comes one now. And here comes another one. Now you may have to, I think you have to re reopen your page to see it. Okay. Here's one of Ross tweets going through there. So if you just refresh your re refresh this page now and you'll okay. see your tweets on our home page. Ain't that ain't that snappy? Nice. So now anybody coming to our home page gets in touch with you who cure things. And they get in touch with you as you are today, right now. You look, Barb, you look like you are concentrating really hard. <laughs> I look like concentrating not hard, is that a It's <laughs> always something that I have. Okay. You look like someone in Jamaica braid your hair, man. <laughs> Oh no, it's just. Well, I always first day yesterday. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Martin Lee and Bob together again. Yep, there are your tweets. I'm looking at them. Your tweets are right at the top on this thing. There's Ross, two from Barb, one from Greg. And with that, guys, this is time for our meeting to come to a conclusion. And I thank you all. But you now have your action plan. This is your action plan. You have other action plans, too, that you can execute. You have many, many action plans. This movie was given to you by Hum. World Ministry of Immunics, which enables you to cure medically incurable diseases. We also produce the Cure Drive in the I College of Immunics. This is the home page. And as you see here, the movie that starts playing automatically when the page opens is a three hour tutorial film, which underneath it is a 
the beginning of a series of movies. If you click on these links, uh, you go to another movie that's a continuation of the tutorial, uh, showing different aspects of uh, the things that people need to get into when they cure things. The movie shows many people curing things. You'll find complete cure tutorials on the home page. Um, under the group at the top is another. Uh, this is a video and text tutorial. And uh, if you click on the link, uh, you'll see it has 10 lessons. And you can click on the, each lesson and you'll see it that the lessons are movies interspersed with explanations. And if you continue scrolling down the home page, you'll find a huge bank of movies of people curing things. Here's one of someone curing multiple sclerosis that you can click on and these play. Hopefully this one will play in a moment. There it is. <laughs> so that woman cured uh, PPMS and MS. Here you'll find people from every continent Europe, the US, Asia, Canada. This woman cured shingles in this particular movie. She, that's what she's uh, demonstrating. And at the top of the home page, you will find links to the uh, cure meetings that we have every week. Um, 9 p.m. New York time, Rome time, 8 p.m. Underneath the cure meetings, uh, you'll find a link to friend me. It's actually Bayard. I'm Bayard, speaking to you on Facebook. And you'll meet many people who are my Facebook friends there who have cured various diseases. Many of us have cured herpes, which is what I cured. Also, there, if you have trouble getting signals, there is a uh, whole bank of movies that focus on people who are just starting to get their first signals. Uh, many of these people went on to bigger and better things, and you see them in other movies. But these are movies about their signals, how they got their first signals. At the very top of the home page, you will find above the uh, masthead a link to the cure shows and we uh, documented people curing things on these are on the we did this on the phone there are shows on about 75 diseases and the diseases are listed alphabetically as you can see uh, you actually hear the people curing these diseases during these shows uh, that's post-traumatic stress syndrome from 9-11, you know, the uh, catastrophe. Uh, we have a show on that. And fever, somebody curing the fever. Several people curing fibromyalgia, flu. We had a flu hotline and there are many people. These people are actually curing flu and the flu stops. It clears up during the 15 or 20 minutes of the call doesn't take long to cure the flu. Uh, over here you have uh, paralysis, parasitic parenting, Parkinson's disease. When you cure something, please uh, join your voice with the voices of the many people who came before you by reporting your cure in our poll, which you can do right above the tally of the cures that people have reported is here at the top and as you can see there's a little link here and if you click on that you will come to a form that enables you to report your cure this page is the hub of the web college and as you can see there are uh, detailed lessons on how to remove viruses cure cancer Here's a movie on the 
right here of a doctor who actually years ago cured the flu on camera. You'll notice that skill one in the hierarchy of skills is cure physical diseases. Um, that's the very, that's the, actually the easiest thing with this particular approach. And I've uh, put a great many things in the hierarchy of skills that relate to cure, fit, curing physical diseases such as ending trauma, working on your organs. Now, if we go into the recode your DNA, these are, there are f 10 applications or 11 applications and recode your DNA is one of them. If we go inside here, what we see is a page with a huge amount of links and then if we look at the links on the right after the ones on the left which prepare you, these are the actual lessons. And you can see some of them, it might be hard for some people to see why blind installation procedure is related to recoding your DNA. And this is why we've put it in this application so that it relates it in your mind. This is The reason the web college is organized the way it is is to relate things for you in your mind. And obviously there are a huge number of things like if you're curing cancer or herpes or any medically incurable disease it's obvious that there are a great many things that you have to learn. And they're different for everybody. You do not have to learn everything that's listed here. <laughs> and in fact, cure is instantaneous. And it's always unexpected how it will come. Like watch these women. They're going to give you a perspective. This is a good way to conclude this little overview I'm giving you here. Say, can I go to the 144th dimension? See if you get a signal on that. Can I go to the 144th dimension? Can I go to the 144th dimension? Yes? I guess I can. Go ahead and do it. Okay, okay. Uh, both of you go to the 144th dimension. I'm taking myself to the 144th dimension. Mm. Me too. No stopping for gas on the eighth dimension. <laughs> <laughs> I feel uh, clear. Yeah, I feel uh, less interested in. Anything below the 144th dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Can we stay here all the time? I know, exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, this would take a lot of backstory, but I, there are some decisions that my family's making that have, that I now feel clear about. Yes, because when you have that perspective, from the 144th dimension, yeah, you, like you simply don't care about anything as much. That's exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't care doesn't sound so good. <laughs> well, see, that's right. I. It, but that's it. That's really not good. an effect. When when you hear when people hear we say we don't care, they go, "Well, God, that you, that's sick," you know. <laughs> okay, I know. <laughs> <laughs> 